and welcome to our second video of Estoril then we have our multi-cam view this is nice to see nice down there at uh, what appears to be driver level quite like that view very low in fact perhaps a little bit lower than the drivers actually marginally the view cams are always a little bit too low aren't they in the bumper cams it has to be said but I've said this about the games before and I've said this again a couple of years ago playing 2011 just a little bit too low would be good if you could raise some of those but you do always have the cockpit cam which is excellent on this car lots of people talking about engine noise and what the cars actually sound like I don't think the car engine sounds too bad compared to a lot of games um, I think the big problem is, is when people say what's their reference point for sounding for an engine sound what is a reference uh, the reference would be for a lot of people TV that would be the reference but actually TV uh, use, use compressed microphones to pick up their audio so an F1 car sounds nothing like it does in real life on television it sounds nothing like it does in real life on a game almost any game uh, because in real life you, you hear a distorted sound because it's so loud uh, but it would be nice I would say if you took this audio and distorted it slightly it would sound more like the actual engine um, rather than compressing it to make a, a sound that's in a way a cleaner sound than what you hear in real life with the air being blown by it but it's uh, it's a tricky one it's something we'll see what the sound guys can come up with especially when they have you know more RAM memory to play with on the new consoles as well I wouldn't know from a technical aspect what what technical limitations there are in terms of current consoles in terms of audio certainly there's always a limited amount going on as we see that wheel spin there Going very wide on that corner. Uh, the, the automatic gears wasn't quite working for me in that corner. I, I did find that it was just getting wheel spin every time, no matter how progressive I was. I'd be glad when I can get it set up on my own rig and put in some consistent laps. I may possibly be doing some streaming on this as well for you guys. And I'll announce that in a news video when, it, when it's going to happen. Now, it's interesting seeing the debates as well on replays. I'm somebody who's always uh, wanted uh, TV, perfect TV quality replays in the games. We're not there yet. Hopefully we will be in a few years. There are technical limitations that have uh, prevented it. And you can actually see those technical limitations if you look at the PC version on maximum resolution. You'll actually see what they call the LOD, and that's the, uh, the different versions of the cars. So when you see a car close, it has lots of detail. Further away, they use a less smaller polygon model so if you're coming down a long, long straight like para towards Parabolica you'd actually see the car model changing as it drives down so there's lots of little tricks that they do to uh, alter how you see the cars especially with the clarity and in 1080p so moving on onto this final lap of this quick Estoril hope you've enjoyed it I think this is a great addition to the pack certainly one I'll spend a lot of time on myself I'll enjoy doing a few runs on this and I think online it'll be good fun as well certainly the classic uh, pack is a night I consider it to be a nice addition I know they haven't been able to replicate an entire season but uh, either way it's nice to see them working in that direction and something that could grow of this in time in, in future packs editions and DLC so coming around that final corner maintaining position and that was a race at Estrel, part two of this race at Estrel. And you can click on these links. And as ever, there'll be more from me very soon.